I wanted to ask you real quickly. Do you know, how many houses do you own? Well, I legitimately, I, I own two houses, but uh, one of them we're building on. The other ones I rent. Right, and one of them is the one that you marry, marry your wife in, correctly? Yes. That, that actually, yeah, we, I'm renting that for my mother-in-law. We're building the house next to it. Oh, gotcha. That's very cool. That was Mehmet Oz, the Trump-backed candidate for Pennsylvania's Senate seat. And he lied there. He absolutely lied because he doesn't just own two houses. He owns 10 houses and we have the evidence to show you to prove it. So according to public records, and they are public, anyone can look at them. Dr. Oz owns 10 properties, 10. <laughs> then again, there's other people in his family who also own properties that he, you know, it's wealth in the same household, right? So his wife, Lisa, owns a mansion in Maine with her family and a pool house next to Oz's in Oz's New Jersey mansion. Which, you know, I get it. Like, if you're maybe you're in a tiff with your partner, you want to get away, what better way to do it than just escaping to your own mansion right next door? So that's what's going on there. So what was he saying about renting, right? He's like, because it made it made it seem like he made it seem like he was renting properties. He doesn't actually own them, but that's a lie. While Oz does rent out some of the properties like a landlord would, at times sharing them with questionable tenants, he is not renting them for from others. He owns them legally and legitimately, and they make up a sizable portion of his assets, which total at least $100 million. And remember, we had covered a story about the family business, which got fined for employing and underpaying undocumented immigrants. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Like They just love that theft, don't they? That wage theft. And exploiting workers, especially workers that they think have no legal recourse as they're being um, exploited by them. And uh, John Fetterman weighed in on this saying, Dr. Oz can afford to own 11 whole houses. That means, of course, he can most definitely fund his campaign with his own money or mo millions. Um, if you're new here on Twitter, I humbly ask, will you please make a contribution of any amount to our campaign today? I am bought and paid for by you 100%. Again, he just gets it, he gets the messaging. And in fact, he has detailed a campaign ad, a detailed campaign ad that focuses on Dr. Oz's houses. So let's take a look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the man himself, Dr. Oz. How many houses do you own really work with? Well, I legitimately, I own two houses. People think different. They sure do. In fact, a recent update to this story is Dr. Oz getting real salty for people giving him crap about lying about the number of houses he has. In a tweet, he says, I purchased my houses with my money. Some of which might have been stolen from undocumented workers that we employed. You lived off your parents until you were at least almost 50. Regular people don't mooch off their parents when they're 50. Get off the couch, John. Mm. I don't know if that's gonna sit well with the multifamily home, like multifamily households that have to live in that kind of situation considering how unbelievably expensive and astronomically priced housing is in this country. But who knows, maybe some people will like that comment. I know I don't, but anyway. You know, it's watching that video, it's one of those funny things like every now and again, um, when I want to rib a, a woman, a friend of mine who was single, I'd be like, how many boyfriends do you have now, right? And it's always been, but oh my God, exasperation. Like, how could you say that? Because of course, like when you have a boyfriend, how they work generally, it's like, yeah, I got one boy. I know how much boyfriends I got, right? Like, that's not something you ever need to calculate. The way Dr. Oz <laughs> had the pause, like that tells you all you need to know. Some people do own 
a vacation crib, they're blessed enough to own one and or they do own a rental property or whatever. But if you ask somebody how many homes they own, they could just tell you. They you know, know, like when he goes uh legitimately, like blah blah blah, and this it's it's obfuscation for the obvious reason. Like he knows how ridiculous it is and how it sounds to say, I own 10 homes. I'm a guy who owns 10 homes and I'm gonna pretend to know what ails the down home meat and potatoes people of Pennsylvania. It's craziness. It is craziness, yeah. He knows it's not gonna look good because voters are inevitably gonna feel like he- They're gonna judge you for it, brother. <laughs> that they're not gonna, but more importantly, it's not just, look, I think there's a difference between just hating on someone because they're rich. And then also like when it comes to politicians, you know that someone with that kind of wealth isn't going to comprehend the reality that you're living, right? And you want members of Congress, you want senators to be connected to you, not so wealthy that they're completely disconnected from your reality. And so that's why he felt the need to lie. And once he got caught in that lie, he got super salty for for anyone even bringing it up. But no, this is relevant. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.